Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafter here with another Scan and Cut update. If you have recently logged into the installed version of Canvas Workspace, you will most likely have been given the notification that an update is available for Canvas Workspace. It's now on version 2.6 and they have added a new fill page feature, improved some of the um, import functions, for example, importing DXF files. They've improved the process overlap function. And of course, as mentioned in my Facebook group the other week, the privacy policy has been updated. So let's take a look at, first of all, updating that. So to update the software, we go to the help menu and check for Canvas Workspace update. And we can see here, software update is available. Update now, question mark. Yes. So I click update, and that will now download the updated file. When the file has finished downloading, it will begin the installation process. After the installation has complete, the software will automatically restart. OK, let's take a look at where this new fill page feature is and what it does. My assumption would be that we can fill a page with a selected shape. So first, let's load a shape. I will make, uh, I will apply a color fill so that we can see better what's happening. And now let's go find this fill page. I'm assuming under the edit tab, perhaps. Aha, there we go. Duplicate, fill page. So with my object selected, I click on fill page and kapow! The entire page has been filled with copies of that shape. Okay, now my question would be, does it work if I've got different shapes added? So let's try that. Uh, let's try a weird star thing. So I have both shapes selected. I go and click on fill page. Yes, it does work with more than one shape. I didn't even have to group them either. So now the question would be is, let's say for example, I'm going to do a sentiment and I have the background set to cut or the shape set to cut, sorry. <coughs> so if I give that a light pink color and then sentiment I'm going to fill in with dark purple. But what I'm going to do is set that layer to draw and then I am going to group both together. So that's now one object. Now will it work with that? Uh, edit fill page. Yes, it will. So basically, it's taking whatever you've got on the mat and or whatever you've got selected and basically doing as many copies and pastes as it can to fill the entire cutting mat. Oh, quick test. Let's see if it works with a 12 by 24 mat. So I need to go to my artboard tab. Change that to 12 by 24. 
select my object, go to the edit menu and duplicate. Yes, it did. Now I wonder if there is a limit to this. So let's try, let's try a very complicated shape in fact, because that's got extra nodes in. Um, let's try this leafy border. But if I drop it down, I mean, there's no way in the world this would probably end up cutting unless I was doing it from very good vinyl. But let's see how many of that it can do. Do, 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 do. No, that was fine. Took a little a bit longer because basically it's trying to work out how many copies it needs and of course work with all of those lines. So if you do use your scan and cut to batch make things, that is a great update. It just slows things down a bit if you're doing loads. So you might want to wait until you've finished everything off with your initial design before you hit that button. Right, now it said something about process overlap being updated or improved. So uh, let's get a couple of shapes on. I think it might have just improved the functionality rather than added anything, but that's a massive assumption because I've literally just installed this as you saw. So I cannot tell you until I have done it. Oh, now here's a point where this duplication thing will come in handy. Yay! Right, so let's try this. Okay, well there are no added um, features in process overlap, so potentially it has just improved the functionality of it. And I wonder if it's also improved the functionality in terms of using it with text. But without any further details, I can't really tell you. All I can tell you is it works exactly the way I would expect it to. Yeah, works. <laughs> now I don't have any DXF files because I cleared them all off my computer because basically there are only a couple of programs that I know that I would use them for. It's not a file format I would use regularly and most people are using SVGs anyway. So it's great that it's been updated, but it's of no use to me. So sorry about that. Um, anyway, that's the updates. Uh, obviously you've seen the news, I assume, about all the new uh, releases recently. Uh, the rotary cutting blade, I'm literally on waiting lists at about four different stores to get it, even stores in America. Um, it's something I've wanted since this machine first came out seven years ago. But finally, we have a rotary cutting blade for fabric on the way for DX machines. Yes. Right, that's it for this update. Thanks for watching and I will catch you for the next one. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.